Yo, what is up, Crocs and Clan members, Fairy Tale fans, and others who have stumbled upon this video? I'm sorry, it's Crocs, and today we're here with episode 89 review. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, this episode was not for me. Um, well, I mean, it wasn't as bad as before. Um, so, this is we saw Sedif. He's still overpowered as fuck. He literally snapped his fingers and Mar the Gear just died. Like, that's... No, you can't just do that to people. This man has been causing just trouble for the entire cast. And all of a sudden, you just... Come in, snap your fingers, and he's gone forever. Like, what? <laughs> you can't be serious. So, face is off. They, face got Every face got destroyed. Okay, thanks to Grandine, Metallica, Weiss Logia, and... It starts with, it's not, such a weird name, Skidrim. Like, who the heck comes up with a name like that? It's, it's literally the weird. I know all of them are weird, technically speaking, but that's like the weirdest of the five. Like Skidrum. Who the fuck thinks of that as a name? Uh, so it's okay. So all the dragons destroy all face. Their, their face is blown away. I still haven't seen my interaction with the kids, but that's because the dragons are destroying all over the continent, whereas the people are like in one specific area. Uh, but here's my thoughts. Grandine looks awesome. She kind of looks like a she. She really looks like a bird. Uh, but she like she has like a lot of tails though. So and they all look cool. Like straight. Don't don't get me wrong. They, they're, her tails look amazing. She's full white, but she's obviously a dragon. But she kind of has like bird elements. Metallica just looks like a freaking suit of armor. She, like straight up a suit of armor. It's a cool looking suit of armor, but a cool, cool you know a suit of armor. Uh, Weiss Logia looks like a goat that i don't know uh like we fought because like we finally got to see them he kind of looks like a goat face type thing like he's i don't know i don't know how to describe his face he kind of reminds me of a goat um so he's the weirdest one of them all and then uh skip them actually looks like a dragon for some weird reason yeah um very dark black dragon uh he just he kind of, I mean he looks he looks kind of gross or like mean but realistically he still looks like a dragon uh and then Igneo obviously well we already saw him he looks like a standard dragon fire breathing dragon uh but the other four have their distinctions and Grandine is still like Gra I guess the Grandine looks to me the coolest and well it, well maybe like if it would if I were to rank them it would be obviously Igneo first then Grandine actually I might put Grandine above so Grandine Igneo Metallica uh Skidrum and Weiss Logia not not to say they all look that, that not any of them look bad I'm just that that would the way I would I'm sorry I have to say it like that okay they all they all look different so obviously I'm gonna like some more than others. But anyways, regardless, so I can't. I really want to see the interaction with the kids now. That that's the main thing I want to see next. Uh, Igneo finally tells us the whole reason why the, why the dragons were inside the dragon slayers. Uh, uh, the first one was so that they can create antibodies so that none of them turn into dragons like Agnologia did. Um, and then Agnologia got up and it, like magic came back, so Agnologia can fight again. And uh, we really didn't get to see a lot of the battle in the sky because uh, we were looking at Sedef and him talking about how they're not strong enough and how if they survive this calamity, well, he's still going to make them suffer even more. I'm just like, bruh, chill the fuck out. Why you got to be like this? <laughs> Why you got to do this to us? And obviously the, the intermission with the, all the other dragons and stuff like that. But, um... That ending, boy, oh, that was rough. Uh, so Igneal and Agnologia are going at it, and you know, they're going, they're going in, and then Agnologia like, you know, slams Igneal to the ground, and um, and Natsu starts running over to him. You know, he starts saying that while he has a chance, he's gonna explain the second reason why they, you know, they did this. So the first reason, like I said, was the antibodies, 
And then the second reason was so that they can wait for the correct time to strike at Agnologia, which was right there. Um, and, you know, the way they were building it up, you know, we all, I mean, I knew where it was going to go. I knew where it was going to go. Um, Igneal died. <laughs> he got freaking bodied. Oh, my gosh. Like, they're, they're fighting. I and mean, then Nazis, like, running towards him. And, like, Igneal and, and I don't know, they do, like, one of those final stands type of things. And you're like, well, the way they set this up, I know, like, Neil's going to lose this one. And he's going to freaking die. And that's kind of what happened. He's, he's, he just ripped. Agnologia, like he sacrificed himself and he ripped Agnologia's arm off, and then like, but then so it's like weird because they both attacked in the same manner, kind of. It looked like Anil was going for a go, for, go for a bite, whereas Agnologia looked like he was going to go for a slash. And also, you see, we see Anil like Agnologia's arm in Anil's mouth, and all of a sudden, it just show Igneal's, like, entire, like, half body. Like, this whole section just ripped off. Like, just gone. There's just nothing there anywhere. And I was like, what the heck? Like, he, he went for a slash, and he grabbed his arm, and what the freak? And all of a sudden, we see Igneal's arm in Agnologia's mouth, and I'm like, what the heck is all this? Where, where, where did the rest of this go? Okay, you ripped his arm. Where did the rest of Like, literally, it looked like it took, like, a, just half his... I don't know what the heck it was, but that was messed up. And then Natsu was right there, and he saw him get blasted, and he you know, just eradicated. And I'm just like, bruh, <laughs> we just got this man. It's like, I don't know, man. I really don't. This sucks. I, I feel bad. I, Natsu is one of my favorite characters, as you guys super know by now. And this sucks. It really does. This is just not... I don't know. Why why you gotta do Natsu like that? Why you gotta do Igneal like that? We just got this man back. And then all, and then they were doing like... Fla like I said, they really set this up like he was gonna die. Because then they started doing flashbacks of when Natsu and, was a kid and... With Igneal and him learning the Dragon Slayer arts and, you know, the whole, you know, reading, learning to read and write and talk and... What the... Why? <laughs> why you gotta do this? <laughs> oh my god, like... <sighs> Damn you, fairy tale. <laughs> you give me a shitty-ass ending, or, you know, ending section of an arc, and you gotta hit me hard like this. You can't just go from what you had going, written down your horrible writing, and then to this. You, you can't transition like that. You, can, you just can't do that. Oh my gosh, I don't know how I'm going to handle this. This is going to hurt. This is really going to hurt. And I'm going to show it. I mean, granted, it's not, like I said, I keep saying it. It's not, since they like to repeat stuff, it's not going to have the same impact next episode, okay? Um, but, I don't know, man gonna hurt it's still gonna hurt because why why not to like why not to why not kill Ig freaking stings and ruse people we don't care about they're too new why do you gotta be not to man why he's the main character that do the main character like that <laughs> oh my gosh obviously we're gonna get like a power surge or something not gonna go freaking dragon force multi god mode and shit and Agnologia is going to be like, oh, crap, and then all the other dragons are going to show up, and, I mean, I don't know, I'm just, something, not just going to go crazy, That that's automatic, it's going to happen, um, but yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this review, link in the description, go watch it, and I've been Source Croxon, and I'll see you guys in future videos.